Both of these are sugars. They taste and feel pretty much the same, but this one will spike your blood sugar and this one will not. This is regular sugar and this is allulose. Hi, my name is Stefano and I'm the founder of Transparency Foods. In the last couple of years, I have created three monk fruit sweetener products used by over 25,000 people. And in the process, I have learned a thing or two about sweeteners, including allulose. I'm also currently developing two allulose products, and I have met some of the top manufacturers in the industry and tried a bunch of their allulose samples, just like this one, this one, this one's, and many others. So this is why I believe I'm qualified to talk to you about this. So let's get started. Allulose is a type of sugar. It tastes and feels just like regular sugar, but it's not digested by the body in the same way that regular sugar is. When we consume regular sugar, the body breaks it down into glucose, which serves as energy or in other words, calories. However, the body is unable to break down allulose in the same way and instead is excreted by the body unchanged. And this is what makes allulose special. It's a sugar, but it's not metabolized by the body. And as a result, it doesn't raise your blood sugar and of course also contains very few calories. So allulose is in fact a healthy sugar, but how does it compare to regular sugar in every other way? Let's explore that. Let's quickly compare allulose and regular sugar on the following aspects. Sweetness, impact on blood sugar, caloric content, usage in cooking, impact on dental health, gastrointestinal impact, regulatory status, and finally, cost. Allulose is about 80% as sweet as sugar. So you would have to add a little bit more to get the same sweetness of sugar. However, as a side note, allulose is often blended with natural sweeteners like monk fruit in order to make it just as sweet as sugar. I recorded a whole video on this kind of blend. So make sure to click on the link above somewhere here if you want to learn more. Allulose has virtually no impact on blood sugar, while regular sugar, of course, does. Allulose has 10 times less calories than sugar, between 0.2 to 0.4 calories per gram, as opposed to the four calories per gram that regular sugar has. You can use allulose for pretty much anything you will use sugar for. Just keep in mind that allulose is slightly less sweet than sugar, so you may have to account for that by adding a little bit more. Also, something worth noting is that allulose caramelizes faster than sugar, so make sure to keep an eye on it. This is also a win for allulose. Sugar is metabolizing the mouth, which promotes tooth decay. However, allulose is not metabolizing the mouth and therefore does not promote tooth decay. Allulose, like any other poorly digested carbohydrate, can lead to gastrointestinal discomfort. This study concluded that the maximum level of consumption before experiencing any gastrointestinal discomfort was 0.4 grams per kilogram of body mass as a single dose and 0.9 grams per kilogram of body mass as total daily intake. However, this is very personal. Some people are not as affected while others who have special conditions like irritable bowel syndrome or IBS might want to be extra careful on how much they consume. Of course, both are recognized as safe by the FDA. Allulose was recognized as safe back in 2010, and in 2019, the FDA announced that allulose could be excluded from total and added sugar counts on nutrition and supplement facts label, acknowledging its minimal impact on blood glucose and insulin levels. Allulose is much more expensive than sugar, about six to seven times more expensive. This is due to its high production costs at the moment, especially after a rapid increase in demand allulose has gotten in the last couple of years. Allulose can be found in crystalline and liquid forms. Crystalline allulose is the most popular type of allulose. It can be found by itself, sold as 100% allulose or as a filler in other products, usually stevia and monk fruit sweeteners. Liquid allulose can also be found either by itself, sold as 100% liquid allulose or as an ingredient, usually as a base, in other products like syrups. Before going out there shopping for allulose, you might be wondering, how is this stuff even made? So let's talk about that. Allulose is naturally found in fruits such as figs and raisins, but in very small quantities. The allulose you find in the store is made through a multi-step process at an industrial scale. That doesn't make it bad. Just, you know, don't be fooled. Brands love to tell you the story on how allulose is found in figs and in nature and in different fruits, but they don't tell you that the allulose that they sell to you actually comes from corn, which is the case for most of the allulose in the market today. Allulose is made by taking fructose, which is usually extracted from corn, and then transforming it into allulose. This right here is a manufacturing flowchart of one of the leading allulose manufacturers. Seems like a lot, but 
the process, the whole process can be broken down into four major steps. Step one, conversion. Enzymes are used to trigger the chemical transformation of fructose into allulose. Enzymes, by the way, are proteins that accelerate chemical reactions, in this case, the transformation of fructose into allulose. Step two, filtration. The product is filtered multiple times and in different ways to remove impurities. Step three, crystallization. The product is transformed from liquid allulose into crystalline allulose. Of course, this step is not necessary when making liquid allulose. And then finally, step four, packing and testing. The product is packed and tested to make sure it's safe to consume. Now let's geek out a little bit. Allulose is a monosaccharide, just like fructose and glucose. Monosaccharides are the most basic units from which all carbohydrates are built. For example, sucrose, which is, you know, the regular sugar we have all consumed at some point, is made out of two monosaccharides, glucose and fructose. In fact, allulose is very similar to fructose. They have the same chemical formula, meaning they're made from the same type and number of atoms, but they are arranged slightly differently as you can see in the image right here. This difference, even though it seems very small, is what makes the body unable to break down allulose in the same way it breaks down fructose. You can actually think of allulose as a healthy twin of fructose. So in conclusion, allulose is a type of sugar that tastes and feels pretty much just like sugar. But what makes allulose special is that it's not metabolized by the body, which makes it an overall healthier alternative to sugar.